welcome to Tech Total Access. I'm Chrislyn Morton. And I'm Allie Boker. On today's show, we'll be recapping games from each and every one of our Hokie sports teams. I got the chance to stop by for Bud Foster's annual Lunch Pail Defense charity event with a variety of coaches and former Virginia Tech players for a series of exclusive interviews. Well, let's start. I'm going to start down here at this end. You guys remember Dyrell Roberts? Yeah. Dyrell came out and didn't have a cast or anything on for the first time in a while. No, welcome, Dyrell. Appreciate you coming. Eddie Whitley, you all remember that we're here last year. Eddie tells tell some great stories. We may have to get him to tell a recruiting story again before it's all said and done. But Eddie was uh, with the Dallas Cowboys last year, uh, early, then ended up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Everybody knows, obviously, Tyrod Taylor. dynamic offensive players we've had here in a long, long time and uh, did a great job for us. We won several ACC championships, him leading the way, and, and we appreciate that. David Wilson, all pro. Uh, Kirby Clayton, the other guy who made you a back click, you never know. I will say this, one of the first times, this is, no, this is a true story, we're getting ready, I think we're getting ready to look, get on the bus maybe for... Um, one of the first ball games, we're going to drive down to Roanoke. Everybody's, we were, we're trying to figure out well, how we're going to get on the bus, but everybody's looking up. You know those big pillars that go up on the castle? David's halfway up one of them, so they're trying to figure out how to help. Get on down here. Uh, next one's a guy, I wish I had him back. We'd have to move Kyle Fuller back to our field corner because this might have been the best boundary corner we've had in my time here. And this Brandon Flowers, who ran We've had a lot of great corners here. You know, D'Angelo Hall, the Ike Charlton, the Jimmy Williams, uh, Macho Harris. But I'm not going to embarrass Brandon by, by saying this, but he was probably the best football player of all those guys as far as just technique-wise. And then he was a thumper, too. He run through you in a heartbeat. So and he's, he's doing, as you all know, very, very well in the NFL. And the last guy, Cam Chancellor, all pro. with these guys, Scott. You know, we'd like to have them back here a little bit, yeah. But we're very, these guys, uh, most of them were here last year. Uh, they they understand what I'm trying to do here, and I appreciate their support. As I used to have this voice with them. I encouraged them a lot back in the day, too. Uh, we've been doing a lot of encouraging this spring, so excuse my voice, it's kind of going crazy on me right now. But thank you guys for coming. I know these folks are really looking forward to it. Tell us about the whole Super Bowl experience. Oh, it was wonderful. Um, to know that Ray was going out on that last ride, uh, it was definitely um, a great season to put together. Uh, he went down, I think, in week 12, maybe. So he, he, he missed a lot of games uh, before he came back. For him to say it on uh, at the start of the playoffs was definitely um, challenging for us at the time. We was, was coming off a four-game losing streak, actually. Uh, we just put all the pieces together in the playoffs and played well. The pieces came together, and uh, it was a heck of a Super Bowl. I mean, the lights went out, but other than that, <laughs> other than that it, was, it was a great time down there. So in, in between players, as we go from player to player, we're going to play a game of who tweeted this. <laughs> who, who tweeted this? Let me, let me find it. Where is it? My next girlfriend will be able to go all through my phone. I'm doing it right all the way around this time. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to explain that. That was it. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? Uh, no, I'm sorry, your microphone works. It's all good. I don't know. I was... <laughs> Tell me about the uh, the hit on Vernon Davis. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not really much to say about it. It kind of like speaks for itself, but you know, I, I seen uh, I seen Kaepernick staring it down. He kind of 
he gave it away. He stared it down the whole time, and then he floated the ball a little bit. It's kind of drizzling outside, so the ball was wobbly, it floated up in the air, and then, you know, I had my shot, and I went out there, took advantage of it. Did they, did they throw a flag on you for that one? No, I didn't throw a flag, they threw four flags. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your experience in Kansas City. Um, you know, just a, a question I have for you is, um, you know, when you get to the point in your career where you've obviously established yourself uh, early in your career, it's all about being hungry and trying to stick in the NFL and, and stay there. What do you? How does your focus change, and does it change when you get to the point where you are, when you've been in the league five or six years, and, and, and obviously a team really respects you to sign you to that kind of contract? I mean, uh, you just can't get settled, you know. Uh, once you get to year five or six, you got younger guys that's trying to come in and take your take your spot every year. It's not like college where you got a four year scholarship. You know, every year a young guy can come in and beat you out, so you always got to stay on top of your game. And uh, if you just got love for the game, you never want to see your game just slip off and just take a dive anyway. So I'm just, uh, I guess, I mean, I just love the game so much, I just want to play at a high level at all times. Coach Angle, the running back coach, always kept telling you the whole season, um, you know, stick you in it, it's the time coming, it's time coming, stick with it. And uh, I just kept on taking that advantage of every opportunity I had throughout the season. You know, um, got one carry in Cleveland, that was my first touchdown ever in the NFL. And then each time I got in, I tried to create a spark, and I was mostly on kickoff returns. And I definitely um, played my part on that, being all pro, kickoff return. And uh, set the franchise record of uh, <laughs> for the Giants of most yards return, uh, most return yards. And um, you know that's what I just whenever I had the ball in my hands or not in my hands, whenever I was on the field, I just wanted to create a spark and, and, and create more opportunity for myself. You know the, the press around here always liked you because you're such an interesting guy and there's so many interesting stories around you. How was the New York press? I mean, you come out, what was it? You fumbled on your second carry and you don't play much the next four games. Was that blown out of proportion? You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Big I think so. Uh, after the fumble, I didn't, I didn't return to the game. Uh, remained on the sideline. Uh, besides, besides kickoff return, uh, we get in the locker room. Uh, no media is at Eli's locker. No media is at Victor Cruz's locker. Amar Bradshaw has no media. All these players that you hear, Justin Tuck, nobody had media. All the reporters was in my locker to ask me, to ask me about my fumble. And, uh, like we played a whole 60 minute game and it, it, one play is, um, you don't write a whole story on this. <laughs> so they accomplished that. They wrote a whole story. <laughs> so I come to practice Monday and no media at Eli's locker, <laughs> and so forth. And they asked me more questions. And, and I was like, I can write another story about this. <laughs> they accomplished that. And, and it kept going to uh, some change. Uh, another guy did something, or well, I did something different. And they stopped asking about it. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a long time coming for that. Let's ask some pro questions. Who's, Who's the biggest physical freak other than Cam Chancellor that you that you've run into in the NFL? Brandon? I gotta say uh, my top two is Calvin Johnson and uh, Brandon Marshall. You know, I'm like in a five nine, five ten stature, they six five, six six, so it's just like dogs fighting out there every play. Like we need got like Cam Chancellor out there they stick my little five nine stuff out there. So, <laughs> I mean, that's what I get paid to do, 